Welcome back, everybody. I want to thank you guys for tuning in and watching. Uh, if you're returning to the channel, please subscribe. Just do me a favor, hit that button, and uh, be much appreciated. I got a lot of people returning to the channel, and so it'd be awesome if you guys subscribe. Uh, it is a very windy day, so hopefully you can and hear me. Cold. And it's cold. And it's a little chilly. Uh, <laughs> Hudson's here. Uh, hopefully y'all can hear me over the wind, but we're gonna talk about our hips, how to generate power from our hips, and we'll talk a little bit about our shoulders in relation to our hips and kind of where they need to be and all that timing. So you're going through your, your run up. Uh, the first thing we're talking about is our hips. Um, when you're running up, you don't want your hips facing the target and you, and you really don't want them facing away from the target. You want them uh, perpendicular to the target. Uh, if I'm throwing straight that way, my hips are either facing you guys or actually slightly back a little bit at some point, but you definitely don't want them the polar opposites. So when you're coming into your throw, your hips need to be, my hips probably f actually slightly face backwards. Um, and what I do is I try to keep them there. That way when I rotate, my hips are still facing that way and I'm reaching back and I'm creating that, that coil here. My hips are still here, but I'm reaching back. And then that way when I come through, my hips are turning, my hips are in front of my arm and that's creating that lag and uh, it seems to help a lot. So hip positioning on the run up, you definitely want them perpendicular to the pad um, or perpendicular in the direction you're going or slightly back. Another thing is not falling over your brace leg. And the way that I think about doing that, so let's rewind a little bit. When I first heard about people getting power in their legs, I visualized them pushing off of their back leg. And so when I would do that, I would fall over my front foot. What I would do is I would come into it and I would push off of it. And then I would be out of balance throwing forward like that, falling over my front leg, and you don't want that. You want to sort of kind of push off the back leg. It's hard to explain, but it's, you, you do push, but it's more so you push your, if I'm a right hand, backhand, I'm throwing, my left hip is coming forward the same time my right hip is going backwards. So it's more of a twist more than it is a push. It's kind of hard to explain. So when you're going forward, it's more of a rotation more than it is a push. Um, but you do want to generate power in your legs up through your core into your arm. That's how you're gonna get that maximum power when everything's working in unison. So really, that's what you wanna work on. You wanna work on this. this. I, I focus more on this hip swinging away from kind of getting it back more than I do my my uh my left hip my right hip i'm working on getting it back and then having my arm follow through um, and that creates the lag ways that you can find out whether or not you're doing it right or wrong is film yourself if you are planting and you're on your plant foot if you're falling over it then you are not rotating and transferring that energy from your lower body up into your arm into the disc correctly you're losing some power there and it's something i still struggle with it was like my main flaw i was just throwing a whole lot of energy out in the middle of nowhere this is a big deal your shoulders talk about your shoulders in relation to your to your hips um i visualize them going in opposite directions so my hips are going one way my shoulders are going the other way they're they're kind of opposite of each other um i'm not doing this my hips and my shoulders are facing the same direction. I want to twist as much as I can. You don't want to hurt yourself, but you want to create some type of coil and load. That's going to help you get a lot more power that way. So another thing you probably want to do is you want to be smooth. Um, Paul Macbeth does a great job at keeping his plant foot like, keeps it like an inch off the ground and it just hovers perfectly. So you don't want to waste energy like trying to stomp and plant and throw uh, that's all just wasted energy so i'm gonna throw a good one and a, or a right one and a wrong one i'll show you what they look like uh, so this will be wrong
kind of fell over my front foot there. Now your, your momentum will carry you, you just don't want to fall over it. And so this will be more so right. And just by that right there, I got a lot, a lot more distance on that, and I didn't even feel like I threw it softer. So, um, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Till I catch you in the next one. Go in peace and be blessed.